Today on Market Vision, we're going to talk about GameStop. Let me start today by saying that this is not a recommendation to invest. My, myself and my firm are not buying or selling this stock. This is absolutely not investment advice. In fact, if I were to say anything, it would be to steer away from what's going on with GameStop right now. But let's talk about what's going on with GameStop because it's all the rage. The stock has popped something like 600% in two trading weeks and it's being uh, position is this battle of David versus Goliath, where the hedge funds, the big Wall Street Goliaths have been shorting GameStop and the, the rally is being driven by uh, day traders and retail investors. And so it's this David and Goliath position and the David seem to be slaying the Goliaths at the moment. Here's the issue. This is all smoke and mirrors. GameStop is the blockbuster video of games. So remember 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we all had Blockbuster Video. We would go to get a, 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 a CD or a DVD or a, or a VHS tape at Blockbuster Video. Well, today it's all on Apple TV or, uh, or Google platforms. All of that is gone. GameStop is to gamers what Blockbuster was to us. It's a dead model. It just doesn't know it yet. It's a zombie company with too much debt and a business model that does, has no legs to it. The hedge funds have been betting that they're going to end up in bankruptcy sooner. And so they have been shorting the stock, effectively selling the stock today, hoping they can buy it back at a future date at a cheaper price and keep the profit. Retail investors through some of this Reddit platforms and some of these other retail investment platforms have jumped on saying, hey, we think they're gonna not go not go bankrupt sooner. They're gonna go, if they go bankrupt, it'll be later. And so what they've done is they've jumped in and piled in, creating a little bit of a buying frenzy. And what that's ha what, what's happened then is some of the short sellers are suddenly underwater. And if they don't wanna stay in that trade, they have to buy the stock back to get out of their short. And so that's created a bit of a cascading effect because a little more and a little more and a little more of those short sellers have to go buy the stock. And so what you have is an extremely oversold stock that with a company that doesn't have a long future ahead of it that I can see, um, and Wall Street has been betting against it. And now, retail investors have kind of created this feeding frenzy that's driven the stock way up. Here's the question. Have they done anything to improve the underlying fundamentals of the company, or is it all just smoke and mirrors driving the stock up, driving the stock down, and really people are gonna get caught in the middle when they try to jump on a train like this and then the gravy train ends and the stock crashes back to where it really probably should be, which is you know, struggling with a lot of debt and trying to avoid bankruptcy. So this is the kind of boom bust. Here's what it's not. It's not what Anthony Scaramucci says, which is a justification for things like Bitcoin. What it is, is a study in the irrational behavior of crowds where when crowds get a, get, get a piece of attention or a, pay attention to something, they go into a feeding frenzy on it and can very quickly drive the stock price up, but very quickly that reverses itself. It has been happening for hundreds of years, all the way back to the 1600 with tulips in the Netherlands. So let's not think that this is some fundamental, hey, we should buy and hold GameStop now that it's up 600% and we should buy and hold it for the long run. GameStop's business problems have not changed. Their stock price has, and a few people are gonna make some good money on it, but it's hollow money. There's no earnings behind it. There's no dividends. There's no substantive business model behind it. So. As always, here at Visionary Wealth Management, we're here with perspective for the decisions ahead. If you have questions on this or anything else, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Have a great week.